Hi, good night. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How was your Tuesday? Hot. Very hot. Yes, yes it was very hot today. Mine was good. It was good. All right. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> When does when does rainy season start in April? Correct. May, no, May, May, or May. <laughs> oh. Well, nowadays anything is possible. <laughs> yes, yes. We got rained last day of the year last year, so yeah. it was unbelievable to me. Yeah, we're having tremors. Everything. Right. All right. Hello, Valentina. Hello. Hey, nice. Thank you. Everybody has their camera on today. Mm -hmm. Ah, Michelle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. What do you like to do on weekends? Nelson? Okay. Rest all uh, the weekends. I like, um, I like uh, uh, visiting my parents uh, on the afternoon. Okay. Uh, where, some where, days on, on the weekend. Where do they live? Oh, they they live in in San Martin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Where do you live? Uh, me? Mm -hmm. uh, in Santa Tecla. Okay. Yeah, it's it's uh, okay. forty five minutes or one hour. Well, it yeah. depends on the weekend. It's like 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, with no traffic. So, yeah, but uh, it's frequently in the day. I don't know why. But uh, for example, in uh, Boulevard del Ejército, mm -hmm. always is, is a, a hard traffic. But I don't know why. Yes, that, that would always. That, that will never change. Yeah. But uh, uh, in uh, Carretera de Oro, it's fluency, but uh, it's, it's uh, more, more a long, long time. But Carretera de Oro is a little dangerous. Yeah. Um, uh, I used to, I used to uh, travel uh, frequently. Sorry? So at, at night, it's, it's uh, very dangerous. Yeah, I used to travel frequently to um, my mom. She had a house near Suchitoto. Ah, uh, good place. <laughs> yeah, and I remember um, by the cemetery in Carretera de Oro, one time we were driving, we were coming back, and suddenly my, my tire popped. Like really? the two tires on my car. It's and, between you know, uh, Ilopango and Soyapango. No, 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 no. It's um by um. I think it's before La Carretera de Oro. Uh, oh, after. Well, when you come when when you come to San Salvador, it's a little after. It's like when you're going to Soyapango. There's like a, a university, Don Bosco, I think. Yeah, yeah, but at least uh, and then it's a. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember what is the it's name. It's not Carretera de Oro anymore, right? Carretera. Yeah. Well, what happened was that my two tires popped and, and, and you know, and the car. Wow. And suddenly when I stopped, I'm like, what the hell, what happened? <laughs> and um, what happened? What, but the good thing. The front tires or the, the rear tires? No, the two in the back. Ah, okay. 
the good thing that what happened to that day was that it was the day of the dead. <laughs> so when I stopped and then, you know, when I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> and then suddenly another car, the same thing happened. So I think we were like three cars, you know, <laughs> and it was nice because we became friends. I needed an extra tire and all me, so I need one. Well, you know, so they helped me and and then the people around there, they told us that's when I learned what a Miguelito is. Do you know what is a Miguelito? No. You know, Gio? Yes. What is it? Uh, it's a thing made with um, wire. Uh, yes. Um, like, like, like a change. Like nails. Yeah. Yes. Like, like mm -hmm. nails in form of cross. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then what, what the people around there, because a lot of people helped us. And, and that was the good thing that um, it was night and there was a lot of people still. And then they told us, oh man, you, you were affected by a Miguelito. So it's very common. And this is to everybody be careful. <laughs> now that's what they do. They throw because they know that you're going to stop and it's dark, it's alone. And they just go and rob you, at least rob you, because I hope nothing else. I said, wow. I, I never forgot that day. So every time I pass by there, I walk slow. I, I, but I said, if that ever happens to me, if they pop, I'm going to continue until the car can't. I'm going to continue and call the police immediately. So. That's why I remember, be careful with the Miguelitos people. Okay, good to know. Good to yeah. know. But the ones and, who drive. Yeah, because when, when I was there, and then suddenly, pop, and then, then another car, you know. But I think those Miguelitos, maybe they were there before or something, or they forgot it was the Day of the Dead. But that would have been a very good business for them that day because they had three cars in line changing oh. tires. But since there were a lot of people, there were still police. The police did not help. <laughs> but if, if that day, I, I always think, imagine that day would not have been November 2. It would have been a normal Sunday. It was 7 p.m. I don't know what, what would happen because that street was very lonely. It's very quiet. So that's the famous Miguelito. How do you know that's a Miguelito, Gio? Hmm. I saw them in the in the movie, I think. Oh, really? Because with with another name, but uh, one time uh, in the Comalapa Road. Yeah. We we I we know it with my with my parents. We were to to the airport, and and that happened to us too. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, I think it could happen in any road. Any any. So if your if your tire ever pops suspiciously in a road yeah. alone, I would immediately call the police or something. Or yeah, sometimes it's used uh, by the police, the, the Miguelitos for for the stop the the the, the criminal. So yeah, but maybe the idiots forget to return <laughs> to pick up the Miguelitos when yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, another story that be careful if that ever happens to you. Um, they had a friend. She was a she was a very pretty. Girl. <clears throat> she is. And she had bought a car, new, brand new car, like from Sakito. And suddenly, she kept on hearing this tie this sound like ding 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 ding, and. Um, <laughs> Sometimes even men, but sometimes even women don't, you know, men assume that women don't know about cars. So then maybe they think they are an easy target. But my friend was very intelligent because since she said this car is new, it has warranty and she was passing by Sakito, immediately she went inside and she said, I am... Hey, look, my car is making this weird sound. What is it? 
So then the mechanic got in the car with her. And like two or three minutes later, the sound started. Okay, stop. So then when the mechanic looked in the back, he asked my friend, before Saikido, where were you? And she said, I, I was at the mall. Okay, somebody was following you. Because what they did is that they they got like a key. They got a key with a string. And then they tied it to the um, to the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe is el el ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Dónde está el humo? El tubo de escape. El escape, el escape, yeah. <laughs> so then they, they, they tied a key around the exhaust pipe. So what the mechanic told my friend is they were following you because they knew that you were going to stop. It's a good thing that, you know, she remembered, hey, Saquito, and she, because maybe they were waiting for her to stop, and you know, hey, can I help you? And then, boom, rob her in that moment. Or kidnap mm -hmm. her, I don't know. So be careful, women. Okay. I tell Thank my you. wife that all the time. I gave my wife the taser. <laughs> and she has the taser. That when she takes Uber, I'm going to tase somebody. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right. What did you say it is called? Taser? Yes. How you do see, you write that? Uh, Thomas Alpha. Zulu. Edward Richard. Edward Richard. Okay, I just got Zulu Edward Richard. Well, actually, um, okay, it can be S or Z, because some people okay. say Taser, but um, okay, ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Thomas. Thomas. Um, Alpha. Alpha. Sammy. Sammy. Edward Richard. Edward Richard. Okay. Is sometimes, that like... sometimes you will see it with a Z. Okay. A Z. So I, I guess that's like cinnamon gas. No, that's worse. That's like electrical shocks. Oh, okay. Go I ahead. have a I have a tendency to buy stupid things. Where do you got it? <laughs> In the street. Really? Yeah. And does it really work? Oh yes. Have you tried? <gasps> no, not yet. When my <laughs> wife my wife took it from me because I started playing with it too much and you know, temptation was going to kill me. And I know that's something. No, because I, I think I showed it to my class before. Yeah, I remember. You press it and you <laughs> see the electrical shock, like. Yeah. You, wow. Okay. Oh. And the sound. But, yeah, it, they cost like ten dollars, though. You can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, I need one to prove Me it too. in the bus. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> boom. Yeah. Or imagine, imagine when you're fighting with somebody in traffic. What? Get off. Okay, what? Imagine they see you walk from a distance. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> no, that'll be funny. No. Okay. Yeah. So I have a tendency to buy unnecessary things, but at the end they are necessary. Yes, this is really important. Yes. Okay, so um that's what you enjoy doing then, right? Nelson, you enjoy visiting your your family on the weekends. Are you married? Yes. Yeah, that's the married life now, right? Weekends, rest days is visiting days. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, but remember when you were single? Um, yeah, but it's uh, many years ago. Yeah. But I remember when I was single, I enjoyed doing nothing on my weekends. But like literally doing nothing. Mm -hmm. In my single days, there were still DVDs for a dollar. I remember I would buy 10 movies. I am a very big movie fan. And just be in my house all day watching movies and ordering food. That was resting for me. <laughs> but those days are gone now. When I try to do that, my son comes, whenever he be. Like, oh my God. Leapy, leapy, leapy. So then, when menace. I only have 10 minutes of glory. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, Ingrid. Hello. What is something you dislike people doing to you? Mm. I'm sorry. I'm... Do you remember? Do you remember when? When do? When is the only time that we use prepositions for gerunds, infinitive and gerunds? Yes. Yeah. When? The course before. No, only when it's sense verbs. Remember, look, listen, and talk. Mm -hmm. Those are the only that, you know, I like talking to my friends. I like listening to music. I like looking at mm -hmm. girls in the beach. But um, those are the only times that you can use a preposition with a gerund. But tell me something you dislike people doing to you. Mm, I dislike um, when people talking too much. <laughs> so I dislike people talking too much. Yeah. They talk, so re talking, repeat. talking, and what? Repeat. I, I dislike. dislike. I dislike. I people. dislike people talking too much. Okay. Okay. I just like didn't people. say nothing. Yes. I this is that's, I don't like that because oh. I'm very punctual, and and sometimes it's a problem because I'm. It's correct to say I, I um, soy muy directa. I'm too straightforward. Yeah. You actually it, that expression in English you say straightforward. Yeah. And and because of that. Um, I'm going to say in Spanish because I don't know how to use it in, in English. No me voy por las ramas. Hmm. And, and sometimes people talk, 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 and you are. What do you like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's or, true. Or, or, or when people, because it's um, the kind of people that is um, like too much. Lying, liar. Yeah, I just like people lying. Yeah, but I, I did, yeah, but you know, but you know, everybody lies. But I dislike people lying when it's obvious that they're lying. That is kind of people. Yeah. Because I, I see it very frequently in when I was in in, in work. Yes, it's like when when you're going to meet at eight p.m. and it's eight p.m. and they call you at eight o five. Hi, um, look, I'm going to be 10 minutes late because there's a lot of traffic. And really? At 8.05, you tell me it's going, you could have called me 20 minutes ago. And, and that's more believable, you know? I believe, I believe somebody, if they call me like 20 minutes before the meeting, because it happens. Look, I'm going to be a little late. Okay, no problem. Thank you for calling. But, um, when, when they call you after the time, I don't like that. I hate people lying like that. Yeah. Is, is that what, mm -hmm. you, what you're trying to do? Yes, because I, I have an example that is, um, I, I have a, I'm not the manager of the, this boy, but uh, he's very pajero. <laughs> I don't know how to say. It. He's a big liar. Yeah, <laughs> and he's, and I don't, I don't like controlling people because you are an adult, so you don't need to be like, uh, be, um, I don't know how to say, uh, asking for everything that you are doing. And there's, for me, there is no sense for that. Yes, it's true. Then it's a, a West, it's a West, a West it's time wasted. It's wasted time, it's true. Yeah. Very true. So uh, that kind of people I don't like. <laughs> I completely understand you. All right, now let me share my screen with you and we'll continue with the exercise. 
does anybody here like doing something different, like um, something that is normal, but you do it differently? Like, um, I like eating tamales with curtido. That's strange. Yeah. Yeah, but it's normal in the San Miguel, right? Yeah. No, it, it's not no. true. You are San Miguel? Yes. Oh, no, really? Are you in San Miguel right now? Yes. Oh, man. Hi, San Miguel. I love San Miguel. I, I love live, San Miguel, too. Yeah. I, I lived yeah. there two years. I, I like the Cuckoo Beach. Um, excuse me. Do you know, do you know Valentina, do, do you, have you ever eaten Cocomal? Yes, okay, obviously. Then, yeah, then you are Miguel. You are Miguelian. Yes, obviously. And, and pupusa with curtido con mayonesa. Yeah, yeah, okay. But but you know that that's that's something not bad. But you know, it's different to the yeah. traditional. Yeah, Miguelians they like eating pupusas with mayonesa curtido, and they like drinking chuco sweet. Remember? Yes. Yes. With, that, with bread. That's with the bread. only thing I. That's the only thing I did not like. No, I, 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 like, I like my chuco I, traditional. I don't like to. All right, cool. But but in San Miguel the chuco is differently. Is uh no it's differently. Yes, yeah, it, it is yeah. sweet, sweet and 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 purple. <laughs> and it's yeah. yeah the, they're different from, from San Salvador. But you know what I love about San Miguel are the tortillas. They're so thin. Yes. Because yes. when you when you toast them, they're so easy to toast. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, I, sopa, sopa de puya ah. too in, in San Miguel. Yes. Oh yeah. It's so delicious. I I I, I live in San Salvador because uh, I study in the, Para well, la goma, Ricardo. But, <laughs> but I need the, the tortillas. Yes. Are you going to watch the Alianza Aguila? No. <laughs> but you are an Aguila fan, right? Obviously. <laughs> does, does El Barrilito still exist? What? El Barrilito, does that still exist? Yes. And they have some good boquitas there. What is it, Barinito? Is it a restaurant? Yeah. What happened? It, it, it's, a it's a famous bar. It's, it's like a bar, diner. Uh, what, it's everything. Uh, what, what is, what is Barinito? It's a pub. <laughs> it's like, it's a, it's not really like a bar. It's a bar. Uh, really, but where is it located? What is located? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, let me see if I remember. If I remember, it's like kind Who's of like. Bill, a, Avenue? You no, know, like two or three blocks behind or something. Yes, yes. Oh, good. I still remember. Because when I went there, I, I can't remember. <laughs> no. No, but I remember that the selection of um, boquitas, it was very good. They had like, <laughs> like 40 different selections. That's where I ate um, caldo de. I did not like that. Maybe because I, in my mind, I was like, Ooh, huevo de toro, I ate there. <laughs> yeah, but it was cool. Nice. Creadillas. Hmm? Creadillas. Creadillas. Nice. All right. Now I'm hungry. And I want a beer. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Um, let me let me share my screen with you so we can do we can finish the exercise from yesterday. Do you see it? Yes. Do you see yes. the happy lady? All right. Happy lady, what well, is in red right now? Right in the last video was in black all the time. Wow, you're very observant, Jaime. Yeah, yes. Lady in red. Yeah. Really? In the last video, she was in red, in black. No, in black all the time. Okay, but this is the this is the one that we did yesterday. Hold on, let me check. She changed it, <laughs> and the color too. That the what the video too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, am I in the am I in the wrong? 
That's the one. This is the correct one, right? Yes, it is. You have to change your computer. Yes, that is. Okay. Okay, cool. cool. All right, let's listen to what she says. Um, what, what, did, did you get a good sound? Nothing. No. I didn't hear anything. All right, thank you, sir. I promise you will now. You're in class? You're, 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 you're my yeah. Can you hear? You may use yes. these adjectives as well as this useful expression. Yeah. Yes. Now we're ready to study our topic, but before you go and watch the video, I want to tell you that I enjoy teaching. Share with us something you enjoy doing before you watch the explanation, and let's see if you know how to do it. A gerund always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. An infinitive with gerund can follow these verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Um, remember, I, I, I think yesterday we were doing, um, yesterday we were doing, I can't help, correct? Yeah. Um, I can't help. What is I can't help? No puedo evitar. What is I can't stand? No soportar algo. No support. No. Yes. Cool. Sure, what, what, are very what is the, the meaning uh, don't mind? Okay, good. Let's stay here then. Okay, do you see I we, we have no problem with I enjoy, right? Right. No. Okay, so remember it can be affirmative or negative. I enjoy meeting new people or unusual people or I don't enjoy. Like, I enjoy going to the park. I don't enjoy going to a seguro. I like, Hi. I like watching movies. I don't like watching my wife's uh, movies. But she doesn't know. I don't mind. What is I don't mind? No importa. I don't care. Me indiferente. Indifferent, yeah. Yes, when you, yeah, but pretty much when you say I don't mind this, no me molesta. No me molesta. And that's how, and that's how you would ask for permission. Imagine you go to somebody's house and, and you smoke and you don't know if those people smoke in the house. Then you ask them, do you mind if I smoke? Mind. Yes? Yes. Yeah, that's how you say it, you know, do you mind? So that's that's how you make the, um, I don't mind, okay? So when you when you ask for permission is, do you mind? Do you I mind? I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. And I will get rid of this. Okay. Are we back on my screen? Yes. Okay, please hold on. Let me do something. Okay. Let me see. Um, Sandra. Yeah. 
Do you mind? Hi, Sandra. Do you mind when people eat with their mouth open close to you? Um, can you repeat, please? Do you mind when people eat with their mouth open? Yes, because it's bad education. Good. In this situation, you know, some people don't mind. And, and another way of saying I don't mind is I don't care. But some people do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yeah, me too. I, I, don't, I don't like when people speak with their mouth, uh, eat with their mouth open. Yes, it's in public. Yeah. And, and, and when they finish, they, they start. <laughs> like, really, dude? Really, man? <laughs> I'm not hungry with feet. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, all right. It's something like good. Okay. Let's go back to the, do you see the screen again? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I am interested in, so we say I don't mind, I avoid. Remember who lives in Soyapango here that she, that you said avoid going to San La San Jose. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you can be, you can be more specific. Hey, if you don't have family, Avoid going to La San Jose in Soyapango if you don't have family there. You can say that. Correct? Yes? No? Hello? Yes. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay, I like going. Okay, let's continue with the video. Cool. Okay. Remember the chair. It went, I sound kept, went I out. Hear. Oh, yeah, really. There is no sound. Sorry. Don't mind. Keep. Okay, there you go. Yes, and suggest other suggest. ways to use gerunds. Okay, this is exactly where we finished yesterday, right? Yes. Um, finish, give up, can't help, imagine, don't mind. What is keep? Mantener. In this case, Keep is continue. Okay. If I tell you here, $5, keep it, yes, keep it. But if you say it with another verb, with an infinitive verb or a gerund, it's a continuation of something. Continue. It's like, a hey, keep on going, keep studying, keep eating, keep running. I want to keep sleeping. Okay. Yeah. So in, in this case, keep with a gerund would be continue that action. Mm. Okay. Miss? Okay. Extrañar. Extrañar. No, in this case, extrañar. Can you, who can give yeah. an example with miss? I miss working in my office. Really? <laughs> wow, you're the first person I hear that. <laughs> Friend, if you work from home, uh, I love working uh, from home. I don't miss seeing my co workers. <laughs> okay. Me too. Me too. Because now I can sleep. Like... Being in home is for me is, um, is harder than being in an office. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh, because of the people in your home? You have children there? No. But I think I, I, I feel that I don't have too much time, and I work more than in an office. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Yeah, that's true. So, miss it's drinking coffee. I miss drinking coffee. Um, I miss going to the beach. Yes. I miss going anywhere with no mask. Mm -mm. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Other okay. ways to use gerunds. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. 
Finally, we have infinitives and gerunds after verbs. Some verbs can be followed only by gerunds, some only by infinitives, and some by either. Gerunds only. Avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, mention. Okay, this is very important. With avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, and mention, you can only use a gerund. You cannot use an infinitive, okay? Okay. Inf infinitives only. Only, agree. And with these, only agree, hope, intend, learn, plan, and promise, these are infinitives yes. only. Sure. What's the meaning of only as a verb? Very good. Who can help in that? Who can give me an example of only and an infinitive? Mm, I think we don't know. Okay. Um, have you ever... Do, do you know where Torre Cuscatlan is? Yes. Yeah. In front of Torre Cuscatlan, there's a pizza hut. Correct? Right. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten inside that Pizza Hut? Not next to, in front, on the other side of the street. From this delivery or no? Oh, so it's only to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Go. Good. Do you see? There's the example only to go. Okay. Only to go. Yeah. Unicamente. So, but as a verb, like it would it would be solo para. Solo para. Solo para. Yeah. So you say, oh man, look, let's go eat. There's a oh no, you can't. Why? Because it's only to go. That sounds like a fixed expression. I'm sorry. Uh, well, it sounds to me like that it's a fixed expression. Yes, it's an expression too. Okay. Okay. Um, agree. Agree. Um, let me give you another example of only. Uh, do you have children? No. Nope. Have you ever yes. heard a mother or a father, or maybe your mother or your father told you, hey, listen, we're going to go to the store, okay? Yeah but only to buy milk. <laughs> Don't Chris. ask me for anything. Many times. <laughs> yeah. You see, only to, <laughs> and you know, they, and they always say, yes, yes, dad. Okay, when they're in the supermarket, <laughs> I told you, I told you. <laughs> yeah. You give them the big talk before. Look, we're going to go to the supermarket, but only to buy this and that, not to buy toys. Okay. That's my life every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, and agree. Who can give me an example with agree? So it's, it's very simple, agree to. Mm -hmm. I agree to I agree finish to this my course. Homework. <laughs> Okay, good. I agree to finish my homework. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, it's like term and conditions, you know. We agree to... To work five hours a day. Okay, good. Yeah. In, 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 in any case, when you divorce too, you know, like you say, okay, look, we agree to have um, custody 50-50 or... <laughs> yes. So it's, it's both parties agree or two or three or four parties agree. But you can use agree with, with uh, I agree with some, something? Only infinitive in this case. Mm, yeah. Yes. Next, hope. I but yeah, hope. But, but yes, I you can use agree with. No. no. Okay, I'm sorry, go with hope. I hope, I hope to, to travel to, to I hope to travel to Europe. Oh good. I hope to travel to Europe. Good. I hope to buy a car. I hope to buy a car. 
I hope to go back to normal. Okay, good. I hope to go back to normal. Yes. All right. Next. I hope to eat chocolate. Oh, good. I hope to eat chocolate. Yeah. Or sometimes people say, I hope to get paid on Friday, not Monday. I hope to I pass hope to the, win the lottery. The, <laughs> I, hope so. <laughs> I, I hope to pass the, 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 the course. Okay, good. I hope to pass the course. <laughs> but remember, I like, have her love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope to to win her love. Yeah. Hi. 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 Um, next, intent. Who can give an example of intent? Intent. I intend to drive a car on a truck. All right, who can give me a negative in intent? Um, I don't intent, intent to fight with people. Okay, good, very good. I don't intend to fight with you. Hmm. Yes, I don't intend to argue with you. Very good. All right, learn. Learn. What is something you want to learn? I want to learn French. I want to learn to speak French. I need an offensive. I want to learn to, to speak, French. speak French. Yes. To speak French. He wants to learn another language. I want to learn. No, but remember, I need an infinitive. So after all these verbs, I need to, to. and a verb. What what you're saying is correct, but correct. what we're doing is using these verbs with infinitives. With infinitive. I want to learn to cook. I learn to drive a car. I want to learn to drive a car. Good. Mm -hmm. I want to learn to repair cars. That's interesting. That's even better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have plan. Huh. Yeah. What do you plan to do on the weekend? I plan to visit my parents. On the weekends? All right, cool. I plan to move oh. to another house on the weekend. Good. Really? You're moving? So I, I have a plan I will, to travel. I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you know the best thing? Really, the best recommendation I can give you... Good. The best recommendation I can give you is pay movers. Really, don't complicate yourself. I'll pay my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't complicate yourself because um, I moved a couple of times and and when you pay when you pay a uh, when you pay a uh, a moving company. When you pay a moving company, it's the best you can do. They do everything. Okay. Thank you. Dude, I remember one time this guy, he, it's like, he got the refrigerator, nobody helped him, and he put it in his back. And he started walking up the stairs. Oh I was like, oh, sir, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm like, How the hell is he going to put that down with no help? Don't you and see they, that it will get damaged? <laughs> yeah, of course. My refrigerator. <laughs> in my refrigerator Not him, it right? My Just the refrigerator. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I was worried because if they break my refrigerator, I understand that they will not pay me for that. Okay. And that's why I was really worried. But no, they're, 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 they're experts. Okay. Like with three people, mm -hmm. they moved. And it was cheap, like $35. Oh, okay. So it's not that expensive. No, it's not. Well, it depends because where I lived, I mean, I didn't go from Santa Tecla to to Soyapango, so I imagine that's more expensive. Yeah, I guess. Oh. Okay, next we have promise. Promise. I promise not to miss any class. I promise not to miss any classes. Good. 
Let me worry, Mama. I promise to come back early. Yes, Mom. <laughs> I promise to come back today. <laughs> I pro I promise uh, to to drink only two two beers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't promise. <laughs> only two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I promise. To... I'm sorry. I promise to say true. I promise to say the truth. Good. But that, that's a very big mistake because, you know, when you tell somebody, mm -hmm. if I tell you something, do you promise to say the truth? They're mm -hmm. going to lie. <laughs> oh. It's like, yeah, yeah, I promise. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> Today I saw something interesting. <laughs> That you know, I, I was thinking it said um it said si una mujer me dice que no le haga caso, y si no le hago caso, le hice caso. You know, and I was hey, that's a tricky one. <laughs> Confused. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, but it was interesting. Like, hey, okay. that's true. All right. Sure, I have a question. Sure. But this is related to the grammar structure because um, the example was, I promise not to miss the class. Yes. Okay. Now I get confused when the, when you have to say not or could you have said don't or when there are some expressions like no promise made, should I use not or I get confused with that. Okay, good question. No, in this case, when you use infinitives, there are two ways of saying it, the affirmative and the negative. And when it's negative, you always say not to. Not to, okay. I promise not to. Okay, so you are not using the regular don't, mm -hmm. okay. When you say, is the teacher, before the, the, the verb or after the verb, don't? No, it's 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 after the verb. Like I promise after immediately. If, if it's negative, if it's negative, mm -hmm. it's immediately not after true. the verb. I promise not mm -hmm. to. Okay. I plan not to go. I intend not to hurt you. I hope not to offend you. Okay. Okay. When you say don't, is, is there? You're not speaking infinitive. You're only using one verb. I don't like, I don't want. And if you okay. tell somebody directly as you're giving a, an order, don't go, don't eat that, don't drink that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, intend, Got it. Learn, plan, promise. Either okay. gerund or infinitive, begin, continue, like. Okay, these are easy, right? Begin, continue, like, you can use gerund or infinitive. No problem. We understand begin and like, right? Yes. Begin, continue, like. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like, you know, like your typical Salvadorian mom, when you're playing on a tree, get down, you're going to hurt yourself. Get down. And you continue. And All right. Oh, you fall. Uh huh. Suddenly. Continue, yeah. Continue <laughs> playing. Yeah, continue playing. <laughs> no, don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Remember, we have just given you some examples of the verbs that you may use with gerunds, infinitives, or both. How do you feel about these things? Discuss your answers using verbs or expressions followed by infinitives or gerunds. Number one. Listen to people's problems. Number two, go to places where you have to use your English. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you about the difference between I like and I love. Okay. And that's kind of like a character because tell me something you love. But, but think about the word because when you say you love, it's a passion you have. Yeah, so 
yes, it's the same. I like I like eating pupusas. Or you can say, man, I love eating pupusas. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a passion, you know, like, man, I love listening to music loud when I'm alone. And, and I do my air guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love listening to ACDC alone, you know, and my neighbors maybe, oh my God, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or cumbias and then yeah. or you can say because you know there's a difference you can say I like listening to music when I am alone or you can say man I love listening to music when I'm alone um, do you like do you like desserts man I love eating apple pies Oh yes. You know, you know which apple pies are actually very good and very cheap. Which ones? The, the ones from um, Don Pollo. Really? Yeah. They cost like one twenty one twenty five three. Are you sure? <laughs> I promise you. And then it's the same <laughs> apple pie. It's the same apple pie that they give you like in in Wendy's or or Burger King. Burger King. That it looks like a burrito. Yeah. Yes. But in Don Pollo, it's like three for 125 and it's very good. Okay. I'm going to, I, I'm going to taste these uh, apple pies in Don Pollo tomorrow. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this case, in this case, in this case, Jaime, it would be uh, a good promise is, is, is You promise it's good. No? no, it is. I mean, yeah, it's very good. It, it's no Shaw's. <laughs> <laughs> but for one okay. for for one twenty five, I promise you, it's good. <laughs> and it will you can have three. Okay. And you can have three. You know, you can give one to your to your wife or your girlfriend here, baby. I brought you. But if you want, you know, if you want to be more romantic, before you give it to her, take out it, take it out from the don pollo. Yeah. Just like. Give it to her in a napkin and a coffee. Here, baby, I brought you an apple pie. You are making yeah. promotion. Oh, no, you are, hey, you are working for, for Don Pollo, no? <laughs> no, in fact, in fact, if I were working for Don Pollo, they'd fire me right now. Yeah. Tomorrow, I uh, look, I look, I look, I look in, in, a, in a TikTok uh, making promotion for Don, Don Pollo. <laughs> no. No, no, I mean, I, 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 the thing is, I don't like sweet bread. I don't. The only thing I do like is apple pie because ever since I was a little kid, it's my favorite dessert. And, um, but it's very expensive when you go to like an expensive restaurant. It's like, excuse me, um, how much, like, yeah, I would like a coffee. Oh, sure. How much is the coffee? Like $2.99? Oh, good. Can I have one, please? And, um, the apple pie. Seven ninety nine. Okay, um, not just the coffee, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, it's not that I am cheap, but eight dollars for a piece of apple pie, no. <laughs> that has to be like apples imported from. But by writing, from why, Turkey by writing or something. Your, by by writing your name in the in the in the. And the coffee. Then the coffee, like, like uh, you know, if you want to to the Starbucks, you know, your name, then for your name, you have to pay more than, it's, it's, it's more, it's more, it's, uh, you have to pay more when, when, when you buy some coffee in Starbucks, no? but putting, yeah, it's writing your name. Oh, really? When they, when they write your name, you have to pay for that? Yes. Oh. Really? Yes, yes. No, because it's a very expensive, expensive to Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I, I am an aficionado of coffee. I, I really enjoy coffee and I only drink black coffee because I think that if you drink like a cappuccino and this, that's not coffee, you know. That's like, that's like drinking whiskey with soda and lime and, you know, that, that's why I like coffee, coffee, but... That's why I never go to those places. 
And if I do, if I go to a Starbucks or something, I always ask for a black American coffee. But I, I really do like the coffee from Mr. Donut. They have good coffee in the chata, man. But it's expensive too. Donut, you, 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 you don't like donut too? Cebada too. I don't like the donut. Yeah, it's good. I like the donut holes. Oh you yeah, I, those are delicious. Those are very good. Yeah. There is a nice it's place fine. in Antiguo with good coffee and donuts. Donuts. Oh, it's called um Donut Play. The Donut Palace. Donut Palace. Donut Palace. Donut Palace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Donut Palace. But I like I like El Arco more. I don't know where is it. Yeah, it's near to. It. It's near yeah. the Donut. Uh -huh. It's like it's like when you entered Antigua when you from entered uh, Antigua. It's close to the, the palace, the, the city, city, city hall. City mm. hall. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. it's very good. It's very good. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. What else do you like? What, oh, can you tell me something you love, but tell me with a passion? I love swimming. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. You no, know, that's interesting. That's interesting. Where do you swim? Because <laughs> I, I always swim in a swimming pool because I don't like to go to the beach and get all that sun. But yeah, because I, in, in El Salvador, if you swim in a swimming pool, it's two things. Or you swim in, in, in Santa Tecla or you're rich. <laughs> Really? And, and you have a swimming pool in your house. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I used to live in Santa Tecla. Okay. Uh, but I could swim. I, I, I learned to swim in Atecosol. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, long time ago. Uh, where do you swim now? Now I don't uh, because I'm far away from the city. I'm in Ataco. You are in this moment, you're in a taco. Yes. Oh my God. How is the weather there right now? Oh. It's really nice right now. But uh, inside of my house, right? If I go out, it's really cold. Oh, okay. I envy you so much. Yeah. So it's really nice. But um, for the last few weeks, have been colder than before. Okay. That's Col so colder cool. or colder. cooler? Cooler. Well, depends because it is it cool where you are or is it really cold? Cold. It's, it's really cold. cold. We're okay, talking so about 15 degrees. 15 degrees. Uh, I wish I could live there. Yeah, so it's <laughs> colder. Colder. And you permanently live there. <laughs> yes. Oh, cool. You work there and everything? I work online. That's so cool. Home yes. office. Home office, yeah. Yeah, home office. You're very close to Huayua and Juana, right? Yeah, to Apaneca the first and then Huayua. So you can go to Jardín del Cielo and all those restaurants? Jardín Celeste, yeah. Yes, Jardín Celeste. Yes, I can easily. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you have others envy I, I imagine <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so you love swimming okay all right yes. what about you Ingrid tell me something you love no tell me something you hate but like oh I hate I hate um let me it was easy something that I love <laughs> I hate Mm, I hate um, wash my clothes. Washing? Washing the clothes. I hate. Do you hand wash? Um, mm, I have, but not all. I don't wash my clothes in a wash machine. So you hand wash? Some, some of my clothes. Oh, okay, yeah, I understand then. Why? But I don't like the, that. And, and the clothes. Uh, I, uh, another thing that I hate is take the garbage to outside. Taking out the garbage. Taking, yes. And when, and 
and sometimes when the, the liquids fall apart, Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> or when the cats no. start opening the start. juice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, that is the most oh, the disgusting cats, thing. The cats start oh. opening the bags and the dogs. Yes, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. But, but you know what I do? You know what I do when I take out the garbage? I always buy those little bleach. Do you know what is bleach? Nope. Bleach. Yes. Oh. Me. Okay. For you. I always okay. buy the bleach bags. Yes. And uh, when I put the garbage outside, you know, I start spreading the bleach around the bag. Okay. And uh, my neighbor thinks that I want to kill the cats. I'm like, no, cats are not that stupid. <laughs> right. Well, what I want is that cats, when they smell that, they won't get close to the. They get away. Mm -hmm. You know. But my neighbor. Oh, that... I'm going to I had a I had a cat a cat that liked to smell it. Really? Yeah, really? it was a crazy cat. <laughs> <laughs> and now and and after she was rolling into the floor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, that's true. You know something I hate? I hate having religious fanatic family or neighbors. Oh, I hate that. Because it, it, everything is like, every sentence is about uh, the Bible or this and that and that. And then they put the music very loud, you know, and the, the music. I mean, I have no problem with religion, but I do have a problem with fanatics. Right. Yes. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue. Hey, tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Have a, have a good day. Thank you, teacher. You too. Good night, thank you. Everybody. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.